If you were to ask anyone who knew me in my personal life if I was a procrastinator, they would tell you I was the exact opposite. They would tell you I was extremely disciplined and I get all my work done on time and that I'm very focused and I stick on tasks very well. Which, when I'm assigned something and when I say I'm going to do something, I do. But in that being true, my procrastination is at a much higher level than that. I am actually a master procrastinator at not starting things that I want to start and putting them off for pretty much years. Let me kind of explain what I mean because it can be kind of hard to understand this. There's like, there's basic procrastination, right? Which is like your homework, recording videos and stuff that you know you want to do, right? But my procrastination goes to like the bigger projects. Like I wanted to start this YouTube channel or doing YouTube when I was 16 and I did make a YouTube channel for like my music and posting beats and stuff, but I didn't really dive into YouTube until I turned pretty much 18. I was 17 when I started, but about to turn 18. And another thing I've put, I'll put off for like the longest time is learning how to properly sing. Again, when I was 16, starting to get into music and wanted to start marketing myself, I also really wanted to get into singing and I haven't really started to focus on it until this year. And the thing is, these things are things that I don't necessarily regret not doing because they put me at the place I am in life right now and I feel um, I've gone down a very good path in terms of the influences that, that I've had and the lessons I've learned, but I don't want you to go through the same thing. I don't want you to go through putting off something that you want to start today for two years until you feel ready for it, because honestly, you're never going to feel ready for anything. And the big reason why we procrastinate and the big reason why I put off those things for so long is simply because we are scared of them. When you think about the reality of your procrastination, you don't want to do something because you're afraid of it. It's kind of scary to open up your homework and start doing it, right? You're intimidated by the questions you may not know the answer or if you're going to work out it can be kind of like painful to start doing your squats or whatever exercise you're doing there's resistance that is applied to getting into these things and our mind tricks us into telling us that oh it's safer if you don't do it right now but what that does is it kind of works against us in the long run because yes it feels nice right now if we don't go do that thing but when it actually matters and when it's time to hand that homework in or when we go to flex and see how our physique looks in the mirror those things that we put procrastinated on they show in our progress so how do you cure your procrastination and there's a couple different things that have really helped me to get over my procrastination of putting things off that I want to do because singing and YouTube these things have been like things I genuinely wanted to do and I put them off simply because I was afraid and the first thing that you need to understand is with any kind of procrastination whether it be homework or starting a YouTube channel is you're never going to feel totally ready to start you're never going to feel hundred percent prepared to to do something there's always gonna be that excuse in your mind like oh you're not ready yet but the truth is you're never going to be ready you just have to go do it you only can cure procrastination by not necessarily like turning your brain off but you need to stop thinking about the outcome and about thinking about doing the thing you need to actually go do the thing that's the first thing you just need to understand is you're never gonna be ready you're never gonna feel like oh this is the perfect time to go do my homework no you're never gonna feel like that you have to push yourself through that initial phase of like oh you could do it later Later. Oh, you could do it later. You're never going to do it later if you keep pushing it back. You just need to kind of turn your brain off and like go do it. That's the thing that I started with this YouTube channel. I didn't know how to make a good video. I didn't really have any editing skills. I didn't have any like idea of like how to speak on camera or how to even set up a camera for that matter. When I started, I just walked out into the woods, put my phone up on a rock and started talking about something that I'm passionate about because I'd gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, I need to start this. And if I don't start now, then I don't know when I'm going to start. So today felt like a good day. And and that's when I started my YouTube channel. I just went and did the thing that I wanted to do. And I know that's kind of hard because the whole point of procrastination is putting things off. And the thing that I found most helpful for me is it takes some time to kind of cue your mind to get used to it, but it's doing something called a negative visualization. Now you may have done or heard of visualizations in terms of success, right? I use these for sports a lot. If I'd uh, like, I'd run certain situations in my mind, if I had catch, uh, like an inbound on a basketball, like our inbound play, I'd catch the ball and shoot from the corner a th like a three. Instead of just practicing that on the court all the time, you can run visualizations in your mind, which kind of plays that situation out in your mind and gives you that experience because it's, I don't know exactly the science behind it, but it's like something to do with your mind still sees that as an experience that you've had since you're
you're visualizing it, it can picture what's happening and make adjustments when you actually go to do that real thing. And the thing I just do for procrastination is when I started to catch myself thinking like, oh, you can just put that off. Envision the worst thing that can go wrong. Envision what's going to happen if you never did that. For me, I visualized my life if I never actually started this YouTube channel and never started pursuing what I wanted to. And that made me want to go start a YouTube channel because when you visualize something that you don't want to have happen, you experience and you can get a feeling for the sense of how you're going to feel in those moments when it feels hard and when you haven't studied for that test. If you're putting off procrastination, think about how it's going to feel when you have to tell your parents or get that test sign that you literally just failed and got like 45% on or whatever like terrible grade you got. Imagine Imagine that handing to your parents. Now you have a sense of like, oh my God, this is not going to be good if I don't do this thing. And that's kind of that sense of motivation to go do it because all your brain is focused on is right now. It's focused on instant gratification. It wants you to be safe right now. And that's just the way our brains are designed. We want to be safe and secure. That's kept us alive throughout our entire existence. But in our modern day, our brain often works against us because it wants us to go scroll on social media or watch another Kobe Wallace video to do the work that you need to do. And there's strategies and there's things that you can implement into your life. One thing I've heard of some people saying is, I think it's called Parkinson's law, where they dedicate a certain amount of time to doing the thing. Like if your paper is due, say like on Monday morning, and if you start it on Sunday night at like 6 p.m., odds are you're going to get it done for the time to hand it in. It may not be well, but if you dedicate a certain amount of time to doing the thing, then you'll probably get it done. Now you can just revert that time to doing it before, but it's getting through that initial phase of the procrastination and under understanding what your life is going to look like when you're in the future. And I find the negative visualizations is the best thing to help with that. The other thing that I want to touch on with this video is I've been procrastinating something myself, and that has been showing what I sound like when I sing and just posting content of me singing, because I've always been in my mind thinking like, oh yeah, you're not ready yet. Oh yeah, you're not ready, but I'm never going to be ready. That's why in this very video about procrastination, I'm going to show you something that I've been procrastinating. So the next time that you feel like, oh, well, I, I don't need to do this right now. I can do it later. You remember this and show me putting out something that I don't feel ready for. I don't feel ready to sing in public, but I know if I never do it, I never will. So that's why I'm going to put this out. So this song is one of my favorite songs that I was listening to on my recent trip over in Australia. The song is called Feel Good by Matt Mason. And uh, just remember it the next time you feel like procrastinating. I hope this helps. And uh, yeah, enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Watch some crazy stuff, yo! I found a way I could catch that feel good. Skies hey, wait a minute, Rick. What? I thought this was a commercial. Burn. What's going on? I mean, don't don't worry about it. Let's just just see where this goes. Wait just a moment, I can drop my values. Sky's been burned, fire's been turned since seventeen. Traveling so far to get there all just to be again, all just to see what they saw back then. I think it's time that you call back home. Can you go? If I still score, you're making me very uncomfortable. Please leave. Please leave. No, don't pull. No. Did you get out all of that? You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And it's still fun. Now. As it started to torture you. Traveling so far to get there. All just to be here again. All just to see what they saw back then.